Today's part of the video deep dive is going to be all about the rods that I use braided line on. For flipping, frogging, top waters, and all those great reaction baits that use braid. All right, as always, guys, I appreciate watching these videos. I love and appreciate so much that you guys take the time to watch these videos. So as we get into this content, make sure you follow along, you subscribe, hit that bell notification so you don't miss any videos. And as always, you can follow me along at Hellabass on like Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, any of those social medias. There's links in the description or just search Hellabass and you'll be sure to find me. All right, as we talked about, this is another installment of my deep dive rod and reel arsenal. And like I said, it's four parts because I have a total rod addiction. But Let's tune in, let's dig in and talk about the rods that I use braid on the majority of the time. One thing you're going to find interesting, and this is maybe a little, it's kind of a coming to be more popular, but almost all my top waters, I'm using braid to a short mono or fluoro uh, leader, sometimes direct even. So the only downside to going direct fluoro or direct braid on a top water is that when you're working a bait or a bait that walks or spins, uh, it tends to want to catch on that that treble and they'll dig into the braid. Uh, so that's really the only reason to really use um, a fluoro or a model leader. I know you say, well, why would you use fluoro? But fluoro sinks. Well, on such a short, I'm using like six, eight, 10, 12 inches. That amount of line is not really enough to affect how, how your bait will perform when you're working it and it's not gonna pull it down. So, I mean, if you were using straight fluoro and you had that big bow, then it definitely would affect it. So let's get into that. So to start things out, I've got two 703 rods. One is the Dobbins Fury and one is one of the older Dobbins Savvy. Um, you know, I think the Fury will do everything you need, especially for this type when you're fishing braid and reaction and topwater baits. This is a fantastic rod. We'll throw anything from, you know, small to moderate poppers like this uh, Yellow Magic uh, to a bigger walking bait like this Reaction Venetians Vixen. So, uh, I fish these on fairly fast reels, six and seven to gear ratios. Uh, I've got an older uh, Bantam Scorpion, which is a, a JDM version of the Super Free Corrado, which, you know, this reel is not the lightest, but I've had this thing forever. It works and it throws this popper a freaking mile. So uh, I like new reels, new gear as much as the best person, but when I got something that works, I stick with it. And that's kind of why I still got the Savvy Rod, even though they don't make the Savvy Rod anymore. Uh, if something broke, I would probably just get another Fury uh, just for the money and what it does. Um, but I do like the style of this Daiwa and the, uh, the matching colors. So seven foot rods, really long casts. Braids help you extra long distance uh, when casting top waters. When you get a bite, all you need to do is kind of reel into them and just kind of pull. Like you don't need that big set hook like you do with mono hook set like you do with monofilament. So when you miss a fish and you set the hook really hard with monofilament, it like pulls that bait 10, 15 feet. No chance for that to fish to come back. With braid, if you're patient, you just kind of reel and pull into them. If they don't have it, you're only pulling it a couple feet. And a lot of times that fish will come back and hit it again, or another fish will come up and get it. So that's why I like braid. Uh, better hookups. The only thing you need to be do is be a little careful when you get close to the boat. Make sure you're a little play that fish if they don't have a lot of hooks into them and uh, you're gonna land more fish with braid, in my opinion, on top waters. All right, next rod, a 704, uh, and actually I have a 734. So 704 and 734, so I have a, uh, a Savvy and a Coalition. Neither one of these do they make anymore, um, but you can find uh, a Sierra or a Fury to replace either one of these if it's something you're looking for. Both of these are uh, seven to one gear ratios. So typical rods, reels, with, or lures I will put on these rods are swim jigs uh, and then like uh, 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 be a toad, right? Like a, a swimming toad or a buzz toad. Um, there's a lot of other things you can do with these rods. You can throw chatter baits, you can throw spinner baits. This is just happens with what I use them for. So seven foot, seven foot three, four power rods. Great all around rods. These ones just happen to have braid on them. Uh, these are typically the setups I use on these, uh, but they will do a ton of things. You could flip tubes. You could uh, throw buzz baits. There's a lot of great things you could do with these rods. Uh, and that's why I just have these and I rotate these in depending on the fisher I'm in and what I use them for. Uh, but all around great workhorse rods that I keep spooled up with braid and high speed reels. All right, these two rods are kind of a match pair. Both Dobbins 735 casting rods, seven foot, three power, five. So we're getting into that extra heavy, fast action range. So um, I like these for buzz baits, buzz toads, Popping frogs, floating frogs, hollow bodies. Um, I have a rod that's even longer and bigger for frogs. This, for these, when I'm skipping around trees, uh, cut banks, docks, I like this shorter 7.3 rod. I have more control uh, for casting. I'm more precise with the frogs at this level. 
Um, both of these, seven to one, action, Credo E's and Credo G's um, from Shimano. Uh, so all around, these are great rods. They don't make the Sav anymore. The Sierra you can still get. You can find the 735 and a Fury, a Sierra, uh, a Champion. All great rods, all very similar. Um, just great workhorses for fishing jigs, flipping. Uh, I tend to use these two. I have some in another series that I use for, for different things, but these ones are kind of my frog and buzzing, uh, big, big topwaters and things like that. So now we're gonna get a little fancy. We got a little little shinier here, a little prettier. We've got the Dobbins 760, 746. So this is seven foot four, six power. So we're talking uh, a super meat stick, heavy flip, fast action. This is becoming one of my new rods that I do a lot of flipping with. I used to use a, a bigger rod, which I'm gonna show you here in a minute, but this is a little bit lighter, a little more nimble, um, still has all the back bout and the length you need for flipping grass. So this one has really become kind of a milfoil rod. Um, I can use it for flipping pads, flipping milfoil, uh, wood if I wanna use braid around that. I got it pro paired up with a Cronarch 150 HG, another high speed reel. Uh, this is gonna have 65 pound braid on it most of the time. And you know, when you're doing a lot of flipping and you're just going through miles and miles and miles of grass, this rod is super nice. It's light, it's got the sensitivity, the backbone. You can see I've got this paired up with looks like a, maybe a three quarter ounce weight, uh, a flipping hook and a spicy beaver at the moment. So uh, this is actually a rod that I had, uh, I had, had an unfortunate where I got rid of a 765 uh, Champion that I just wasn't using a lot. It just didn't quite fit what I wanted to do. Uh, it was a little heavier than I wanted for flipping. So I ended up uh, trading that rod in and upgrading to this Dobbins Extreme, which I have no regrets. This is a super sweet rod. If you do a lot of grass flipping, and this is a rod you're gonna have in your hand all day, you'll appreciate the, the weight savings that you get from the Champion Extreme. I'll put a link in here uh, in the description or up in the, in the cards to some flipping grass videos I did from this past summer. And this is a really sweet rod for that. Last rod in the braid lineup. So this is the Big Dog Champion Extreme 795 flip. So this is seven foot nine, five power, um, medium heavy flip, fast action. So uh, this rod has a ton of backbone, but still has that light tip you want for flipping and punching. So I will use it for that uh, if I want to double down and, and pair up if I'm doing a lot, a lot of flipping. Uh, but I also like this as a frog rod. Um, I used to use the 805 flip punch in this scenario, but that rod was getting to be a little heavy and a little bit long for my 19 foot boat. Um, so I went to the 795, uh, plenty of length. So I've used this more when I'm on the fishing big flats, Mississippi River, huge expansive duckweed mats, and I'm just bombing that frog out. Um, and then I got that paired with this eight to one uh, Shimano Accents DC. So this is a, a really fancy reel, um, but it's, it's light. And this thing casts a mile. Um, pair this with 65 pound braid, and I just love it. So that extra rod length, when you're huge pad flats, huge duckweed mats, when one, one you can cover more water because you're casting super far, and you can just launch that rod. If you get bit on the end of your cast, you really want that length to be like whack. You're just like reef them, get them to the top, and get them in. It's really important if that's the kind of frog fishing you do to have a setup that you can really reach out and touch them and still get them. Um, day to day, when I'm fishing like around the banks and stuff, I like that 735, but this is kind of a, a specialty rod for those unique scenarios when you're really covering water on huge flats with frogs or fishing on really big fish. So there we go. That is the braid lineup. These are the, the handful of rods that almost always have braid on them for me. Um, hope you learned something there. Uh, tune in, make sure you subscribe to the next video. We have one more installment uh, where we're gonna talk about bottom contact floral rods, um, some of my favorite rods that I have in my entire arsenal. Uh, if you missed the first two, make sure you check the links down in the descriptions and comments or the cards that have been flashing in the video. Uh, and then you'll see more information on all those rods and reels set up. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you learned something. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Uh, but as always, hope to catch you, help you catch more bass and suck less.